Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is 22K494. I've just installed it today. This build came up a bit earlier with an hour earlier than what we're used to. So that's interesting. In this video, we're gonna talk about what is new in this version and we're gonna talk about some fixes that could be helpful for those of you who will install this version. First of all, right when I opened up my laptop because now I'm on my laptop, I noticed that on my taskbar, Windows icons are slightly bigger than other icons. This is really interesting. So the start button, the search box, the task view, the widgets, and the Microsoft Teams chat icons are slightly bigger than the other ones. I'm not sure if this is a bug or an issue. Kinda looks off for me, so I'm not sure if this is how the taskbar is supposed to be but we're gonna know more about this uh, for Microsoft. The first update or change that Microsoft is announcing is a new taskbar icon that will help you when you are in a Microsoft Teams meeting. So they are talking about a microphone icon that will help you easily mute or unmute your microphone during a Microsoft Teams meeting. But of course, as Microsoft does lately, they don't roll out these updates for all the insiders. So now I'm not really sure if the microphone icon that I'm seeing here is the new one that they are launching in this update, but it could be this one because when I hover over it, it shows the apps that are using my microphone. And when I click on it, I can easily remove the microphone access to certain apps. So for example, I can remove the access for Microsoft Teams. You'll also see a screenshot from the official Microsoft blog, which will show you the icon as I've said, Microsoft says that it is not rolling out to all insiders, so I'm not really sure if this is the new feature or not, but if you guys know, tell me in the comments down below. Now let's talk about some changes. Microsoft is trying to show the snap group in the All Plus tab menu as well, because as you know, for example, I have here two instances of the Chrome browser opened up, and when I hover over it, you're gonna see that I have the snap groups here. Microsoft is going to implement this in the Alt tab menu as well, but in this case, it is not implemented to me because Microsoft yet again is rolling out these features to certain Windows insiders. I'm not really a fan of this because Microsoft is announcing new features and basically most of us, mainly guys from the Euro continent, we see these new features and changes in their Microsoft blog posts but maybe like 50% of those features are not yet rolled out to us. So that's pretty sad for us, but that is what Microsoft does nowadays. We cannot do anything about it. Now, the change is that if you are searching for a file type or link type, in settings, apps, and default apps, Microsoft will now show a dropdown of options containing your current query without having to first press enter. So for example, let's type in here .txt, and as you can see, we have a dropdown, which is really interesting. Also, let's see MP4, again, we have this. This is really, really interesting. I'm uh, really happy that Microsoft implemented this because you can be a little bit faster when trying to change the default app for a certain file type or link type. If needed, you can now launch the installed apps settings page under settings apps installed apps directly using this URL, MS settings installed apps, press enter, click on open settings, and installed apps will open up. This will be useful for some app developers. Maybe they can easily implement this in their apps, or maybe you can easily implement this in your projects. I don't know what kind of projects this could be useful in, but we're gonna know in the near future. In this installed apps menu, Microsoft also adjusted the names of the sort by options to help make them clearer and added a new option to sort from smallest to largest. This is really useful and uh, that's a really good because features like these we only had in uh, third party software like Revo Uninstaller or something like that. But still, as you can see, we have a few bugs because I have a smaller window. It is not really responsive. This text overlaps this one, so that is not not really cool design wise, but uh, Microsoft hopefully will start fixing these issues. Of course, I'm not complaining. We are on the dev channel, so we uh, expect issues like this. We better have small issues like these that don't affect performance rather than having major issues that affect performance. So that's really cool for Microsoft. Now let's talk about some fixes. I'm only gonna go through some fixes that I think are a bit more important than the others, but you can see the full list of fixes in the article down below in the description from the itstakebase.com website. So for example, in the file explorer, 
Explorer, Microsoft addressed an issue that was causing the context menu to crash for some people if you tried to scroll it. So for example, in some cases where you had a um, bigger context menu and you tried to scroll through it, the file explorer or the explorer.exe would sometimes crash. So now in this build, this is fixed. Regarding search, Microsoft fixed a recent issue that was causing the Indexer database to become too fragmented, leading to the Indexer unexpectedly consuming a large amount of memory and CPU for a prolonged period of time. This was particularly noticeable for people that have large Outlook mailboxes. Regarding windowing, Microsoft fixed a few Explorer.exe crashes related to using windowing features like Snap, Alt Plus Tab, or Desktops. So for me, these are the most important fixes in this build. Again, not a very big build. Microsoft is working on the Microsoft Teams chat or Microsoft Teams. I'm basically not interested at all in that but hopefully Microsoft will add new major features in the upcoming dev channel upbuilds. Don't forget to check out the article down below for known issues and the whole list of fixes in this new 22K494 build. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.